Hi, Stephen at Double Glazing Parts and Spares. Just going to show you how to freehand install a flag hinge. This flag hinge is the Mila Ideal 100mm flag hinge. Um, it comes with your frame part, a packer if your rebate height is more than 20mm. I'll put a link in the description to the video that explains that. Uh, your sash part, also your flag part, your pin for your hinge, and four bushes for different rebate heights. Red Packer 6mm is what I usually use just to get the spacing of where to put this hinge. And what I'll use is the little packer as my guide. So that will give you enough clearance between the, sa um, the sash and the frame for your hinge. So just mark this. For your bottom. One, two, three, four, five. That's your guide pin, that's your guide holes for drilling. So now you've marked your positions where you want to drill. Um, your pins, your fixing pins, will be a 5mm drill bit and the other three are just for your screws, so I use a 3mm for that. So I'll do the 3mm first. Then I'll jump to the 5 for the pins. So now I know that the rebate of this door from the, the your rebate height is from the flush part of the frame to the step up to the sash. So I know this is 23 mil for this profile, the Kurnik. So I'm gonna use the packer provided as per the instructions. Anything over 20 mil, use the packer and then put your, your hinge in place. Depending on the profile, if it's got reinforcement in it, um, how wide, deep in the profile is, use screws accordingly or gauge it off the old screws. So I'm going to use 45mm screws here. Try not to use an impact gun, just in case you spin the plastic. So that's that first part done and these little bushes have little numbers on them that make up the rebate height. So I know that packer is 5mm and this is 14 to 20, 15 to 19, 17, 16 to 18. So I'm going to use the 16 to 18, so the 18 plus 5. So the numbers go towards the screws, you put that there, and then insert your pin. So now you've installed your frame piece, you take your sash part, just split it open, take a little bit of protective out of it. This is your adjustment part. And it is, take your cover off. Attach it there. Now, you could just put a little bit of paint or a pen, just to, just as a guide when you push this over. So holding the, it down, push it over, touch the frame, and that will give you your your reference points for your solid fix for your pins on the sash part. Again, I'm going to use a 5mm for this. That 
Ah, coin. Push it over. And that's your nice solid fix. And I'll use an appropriate screws again. Fix your hinge in. Last thing to do is undo the screw, the fixing screw here from round the back that attaches onto your cover plate. Put your cover plate back on and then screw that in. This piece of profile is actually screwed solid, so I can't open it up. Let's see if I can do it just out of the things you do. There you go. So you take that little screw out. Push your plate right on. And then insert the screw. This will stop anybody being able to open up the front of your hinge plate from the outside. And there we have it. Hinge installed. Now with your hinge installed, Frame part, sash part, front cover, end it with a lovely little cover clap, cap for the top, and then you get a little one. Oh, the wrong way. So it is an easy enough job to do. If you want to just convert from butt hinges to a flag hinge, your flag hinge is broken. You can freehand this easy. All you need to remember is have a 6mm packer just for that space in between your sash and your hinge. 